Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are seeing what is written in the stars for you guys. This is a timeless reading looking at your destiny, where you are on your current journey, what is evolving spiritually, what is evolving in your soul for you right now. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I am so truly grateful for each and every one of you. Keep in mind, as always, folks, this is a general reading for the collective energy, so not all the messages may resonate with you. Take the parts of the reading that do, leave the rest behind. Something may also click into place a little while later, but you may also want to check out your moon rising and Venus sign readings for more information. We have the path of least resistance. Synergy beautiful vibrational match freedom of soul expression true love and we have soar wow okay you guys oh my uh, I feel here that things are lining up for you, okay, in a very, very big way. Um, you know, sometimes we feel as though we're a little bit lost or that, you know, maybe I'm going through something that I shouldn't be. Um, trust your path and trust that you are always um, exactly where you're meant to be. Uh, it doesn't always feel that way. Okay, um, but we are always where we're meant to be on our, our life journey, our life lesson. Sometimes we take the long way around. Sometimes we take the short way around. So when we have the path of least resistance, okay, currently you are opening new doors, new portals. Okay, you are gifted with a lot of creative talents, a lot of spiritual gifts, the gifts of wisdom, of foresight, of being able to discern when the time is right to be calm, caring, and patient, and when the time is when the time is right to come out all, um, you know, with all of your energy and with that driving force that you've got um, within you. Okay, the path of least resistance shows that there may be some, there may have been some blocks and some obstacles along your journey. You may have been feeling as though you know the path forward has been closed, or that you just haven't found your right niche where you fit, something that is long lasting, something that is enduring. And when we get the path of least resistance energy coming in here, um, spirit wants you to know that you may be perceiving a situation where the doors have been closed for you, where opportunities have dried up for you, where something has been stagnant for you, you haven't found things that click. However, it's only because the right door has not been opened yet, but there is one on the horizon for you. You are gifted with a little bit of wisdom and foresight to know what path to take, to release what is not meant for you. But I think there's something wonderful and magical that you are stepping into. You are stepping in alignment with who you really are. And I think right now when we have the synergy energy, your soul is trying to show you that you may be in our human mind, our human experience, you might be looking at things separately. For example, your, you know, your personal life, your spiritual life, your career path, your talents, um, your energy, right? Sometimes as humans, we compartmentalize things. When in actual fact, your soul is trying to show you that you are a makeup of all of these things, symbiotic union in one. And when we look at things separately, we become disjointed. We lose touch. We lose focus. So when we have this synergy energy, everything is coming together for you now. You are creating a unique footprint, a unique vibration onto the world. And that is when the magic starts to happen for you. This is where you step into your own authenticity, your ability to create what it is that you desire, what it is that you want out of life, create your best and most wonderful life, create a blessed life for yourself because energetically everything is blending. Everything is come together, coming together for you. When you think of how everything is interwoven, interwebbed together, 
you gain deeper level of insights and understandings. Um, when we recognize that, it gives us a little bit of enlightenment there as well, right? The world is ultimately connected. Energy knows no boundaries. And all of these energies, all of these forces, all of these things are coming together for you. And I think you are about to experience one hell of a shift. Okay, the synergy energy is card number 16, relates back to the tower card. And as we all know, when we get the tower energy, there is a sudden shift, a revelation, an epiphany, some clarity that comes in that allows you to shed your old belief systems, your old ways of thinking, your old you. But you're left with your foundation, you're left with your building blocks of life, you're left with your experiences, the wisdom that you've built up over time in this lifetime and past lifetimes. And because you've got that stability, you've got that rock that the tower sits on. You can weather any kind of storm. You can let things go that no longer serve you so that you can make room for some new insights, new opportunities, new doors for yourself. Massive shift here for you and your soul, your spirits, your energy is highlighting your path forward. All of this magic of the universe, it's all coming together and it resides within you. So you may be getting some big insights, those big epiphany moments. You may be seeing things around you that maybe you didn't see before. And as we evolve, as we grow, as we step along our path, we do see things that we didn't see before. And we really do kind of see things through a completely different lens. It's like putting a filter on, or it's really actually more like as though, you know, if you look at a camera, right, you've had a filter on the whole time, and now that filter is removed. And the future is bright for you. The world becomes brighter. It becomes lighter. It becomes more magical. <clears throat> you can see and understand things that other people can't. So big, big, big shift for you. You are attracting all kinds of people, opportunities, energies, your vibration. Okay. What the energy that you put out, you're creating your own energetic um, signature. The energy that you put out in the world is what you are wonderfully attracting back to you. You are attracting people, situations, opportunities that do match your vibration, but we need to be aware of what that energy is. Because when we have our low vibe energies, our fears, our anxieties, our doubts, our negativity, energies of lack, right? All of those low vibe energies. If we don't let those go, that's what we're going to attract back. <clears throat> so spirit really does want you to recognize that energy that you're putting out there. What are you putting out? Are you putting out positivity? Are you putting out beautiful white light energy? Or are you stuck in a little bit of low vibe. And you know, I get comments on my channel all the time, um, sometimes about I'm stuck, I'm waiting, I'm getting frustrated. And when we are in that energy, we do create those blocks because in human, in human um, experiences, we do want things in the here and now, we get impatient. We think the universe has taken its own sweet time when in actual fact there's a lot of things that are coming together and that really do take some time sometimes to manifest into your world. Remember, the universe is infinitely abundant and it is, we don't even know how old it is really, right? Timeless, okay? And in our human world, a year seems like an eternity, but to the universe, it's the blink of an eye. So part of our challenge as we go through life, as we go through our journey, as we try and open the right door for ourselves, 
the right path, as we find the key that unlocks our beautiful, magical existence, we do get frustrated. We do get stuck. And then we enter that low vibe cycle of lack, of I don't have, I can't do, I'll never get. <clears throat> and when we go down that vortex, when we go down that rabbit hole, that is where we do sometimes get stuck because that energy that you put out, if you've ever thought of, if you're having a bad day, you can start your day by getting out of bed and stubbing your toe. And how you deal with that stubbed toe first thing in the morning may dictate how the rest of your day transfolds, uh, uh, unfolds. Do you stub your toe, kind of fall over, and then go, holy crap, Ola, okay, well, I'm awake now. I don't need another cup of coffee, I guess. Okay, you don't need coffee to wake you up because your stubbed toe woke you up. Okay, and then you just kind of slough it off and you just get on with your day and you don't give it a second thought. And your day just is a normal day. Other people, you stub that toe and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe this is how my day's going to start and ah, blah, 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 blah. And you end up in just a bad freaking foul mood. The rest of your day is probably going to go about the same way. And it's because that energy that you're projecting is what you're attracting back in. So spirit really does want you to recognize that we have the power to energetically attract things that match our vibration, both the good and the bad. So be mindful of the energy, the thoughts, the feelings that you are putting out there. And it's okay to, you know, have that, those moments of bad days or those moments where you're in a bad mood or, you know, we all go through those, right? But it's important to kind of work through that energy, recenter, regroup, refocus, renew, and then get on with your day, okay? Or your week or your month, okay? Depending on the size of, you know, the issue that you're dealing with, okay? Because there always wants you to be back on track, right? So remember, vibrational match things people situations energy that matches you because ultimately we do have freedom we have free will we have the freedom to express ourselves to put ourselves out there we have the freedom to choose what kind of energy that we're going to put out what kind of path that we want to follow But spirit really does want you to really step into your true authenticity. To be true to who you are. To be true to what you want to create. The life that you want to build for yourself. The spiritual path that you're on. The journey that you're on. Because this here is what we need to surrender. Surrender a lack of freedom. Surrender those people, those situations, those environments where we feel restricted, trapped, or stuck. Or those things where, you know, we don't express ourselves. We don't be true to who we are. Because there's a little bit of fear or a little bit of hesitation because of some people or environments that may be around us, lack of understanding, right? Maybe we fear being ridiculed or judged, right? Miss Judge Yvonne Brown shirt somewhere over there looking down their nose at us, you know, going, who do you think you are? Or you're just totally weird. You're totally out there. Weird is good, by the way. Weird is not boring. Okay, so there may be something around you, either internally, maybe just a little bit of a fear, okay, or maybe externally, some something that's really keeping you a little bit restricted. We can restrict ourselves. We can be restricted by our environments or our people, our connections. Spirit wants you to find your path where you can feel free to be who you are, to be true to yourself, your dreams, your goals, your desires, your energy to express yourself and let go, surrender anything 
that is inhibiting your progress. Sometimes we just need to branch out a little bit. But Spirit wants you to find <clears throat> people, situations, opportunities where you can be in this really high vibe energy. Where you can be true to yourself. Where you can enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey, enjoy the environment. The true love energy, you know, sometimes when we um, think of the world, word love, we automatically jump into romance. Love, mm-mm. Love is the highest vibration of all. We can love ourselves. We can love our pets. We can love our environment. We can love our journey. We can love the world. We can love the planet. It doesn't have to be romance involved. And when we have this true love energy, spirit really wants you to, number one, embrace love. Embrace the high vibe. Embrace the love of self. Embrace the journey that you are on, even though those times you might feel a little bit uncertain. Or you might feel like you're, oh, I don't know what path I'm going on. I'm a little bit nervous. But Spirit says that there is so much beautiful high vibe energy that's surrounding you right now and that resides within you. And your soul wants you to let that out. To do the things that you love to do the things that bring you happiness and joy, to be with the people that you love, the people that bring you happiness and joy, the people who you who allow you, okay, or don't really allow you. I mean, we shouldn't allow, you know, make people, put people in the position where they have to allow us to do something, okay? But people who are open to who you really are and that you can feel safe and you can just express yourself and just be you. Love is the answer to a lot of things. And there's so much of this love that is surrounding you. So much of this beautiful high vibe energy that is around you. So remember, be aware of what it is that you're putting out. That energetic thumbprint that you are putting out into the world. Because you are attracting all of this beautiful energy back to you. You're opening new doors. You're meeting new people. The opportunities that are opening up for you to put yourself in the space that you deserve to be in. A lot of beautiful creative energy that's around you. And really it is your time to shine. Because the plan that your soul has for you is to soar to great heights. To be authentic. To be you. To fly high. To rise above your fears, your worries, your doubts, your inhibitions, the energies, the people, the situations around you that are holding you back. Spirit really does want you to spread your wings. To embrace life. To soar above your obstacles. And to see where the horizon is about to take you. To see that path unfolding in front of you in the most magical and wonderful way. To see things from the big picture, from a different perspective, from a different angle. When we rise, when we soar, when we spread our wings, things don't look the same. Things are a little bit more exciting. We see how sometimes minuscule um, our little problems are sometimes, right? They feel really big, like if you think of yourself in a plane, right? On the ground, you know, a person in front of you, someone might be six feet tall and, you know, 400 pounds. When we fly up into a plane, we look down and even the biggest people, the biggest buildings, they look tiny. They look minuscule and we're like, oh, and that's the same thing with our problems, right? Our problem, our obstacle in front of us may look massive, may look insurmountable, may look like a big mountain in front of us. But when we do get in that plane and we're cruising at, you know, what, 10,000, 15,000 foot altitude, right? When we look down, even the mountains look small. The buildings look small. The people can't even see them anymore. So you are certainly being elevated. <clears throat> You're rising above. And you are really soaring to 
great, great heights. New energies of vibration expansion, spiritual growth, personal growth, doors opening for you. Your creative juices are flowing, your ability to attract and to manifest things into existence. Massive in this energy. It's all about your energy, right? You see that? All about your energy. <clears throat> I feel here that some of you have actually done a lot of healing on your journey already. And that's why all of this is coming together for you now. You've been through some obstacles. You've overcome a lot of challenges. And the energy that's opening up really is truly beautiful. Let's get some more information. And we have the three of scepters, the politic coming in there. The three of scepters is the three of wands. We have the Contender, the Five of Wands, the Apocalypse coming in, the Last Judgment, and that is the Judgment card. We also have the Convalescent, the Four of Swords. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. The bottom of the deck, we have the Archangel of Healing for you. The Angel who solves and purifies, this is the King cups you're maturing into a new level of spiritual growth being in control of your emotions you're on the path of healing and enlightenment this is a beautiful connection to your emotions to your feelings to your spiritual self and the king is the leader right the highest vibration beautiful but we do have the three of wands and the five of wands i'm going to read these ones two together in this particular deck these are scepters and feel here with the three of the three of wands represents having a plan having a purpose your soul's plan your soul's purpose and waiting for an opportunity However, we have the five of scepters. The five of wands energy here does represent some challenges, some conflicts, some issues to move forward with opportunities, right? We can look at it as the path of least resistance that's there where you may have been feeling as though some doors have been closed. Opportunities are a challenge. Moving forward is an issue. There's conflict. There's issues that are along your way along your journey we can also look here so you're ready to move forward with something but there may be people or or challenges that are keeping you stuck keeping you trapped this is an obstacle that you need to overcome on your journey before you can move forward you need to overcome a challenge or you need to let something go or you need to make some change in how you perceive things or your environment and things are changing for you this shows that there's a path forward for you there's a door opening for you but we do need to deal with some things first we do need to let some things go we need to recognize who we are our talents our gifts we need to overcome an obstacle remove our blocks and our fears right deal with situations that are around us that have us feeling as though we're trapped or stuck or blocked in some way. But the judgment card here helps you show helps show you the path forward, gives you enlightenment, brings a huge amount of clarity to yourself. The judgment card really does have to do with seeing the light, being called into action being called into your true soul's purpose being shown the way a lot of spiritual guidance and spiritual growth comes in with that judgment energy this is where we do let things go this is where we get that clarity where we shed our previous energy anything that's no longer serving us in a big big way and we can truly and clearly see the path forward but the judgment card is where things that have been hidden 
really do come to light for us. What has been challenging you? What has been keeping you stuck? What has been preventing you from finding that right door? Clarity. Something is coming to light for you here in a big way. And then you can choose. We always have free will. Right? You can choose. Do I heal? Do I let go? Do I forgive? Do I release? Can I resolve a situation and have a second chance at something, right? If there's people that are standing in your way that are creating some blocks for you or that you don't feel like you can express yourself, right? Sometimes we have an, um, an opportunity there to resolve that situation. Speak your truth. The truth really does prevail when we get that judgment card. So you may really, you may need to come clean on your journey, on your belief systems or something that's representing a challenge for you. Okay. Um, especially if there's a person involved and sometimes we do just need that freedom of expressing our soul right here. Freedom of soul expression. Um, speak your truth. Someone can accept it. They may not understand it, right? But when, you know, sometimes we all have those important things where we just need to get something off our chest, right? We need to come clean. We need to speak our truth. How someone perceives that, how someone understands that, we let go of that worry about how someone is going to react. So this can be that energy of, here we go. I'm speaking my truth. I'm being true to myself. I'm honoring my feelings. And part of my spiritual journey, part of my journey forward is to bring things to light, to get things out in the open. But we also let go of how someone else is going to deal with things or how someone's going to perceive us. It's like, it doesn't matter to me what you think, but this is the journey that I'm on. So sometimes we can detach from those situations or those people, but sometimes people surprise you sometimes. Maybe someone is like, you know what? I don't entirely understand it, but I support you. Or maybe someone really does understand it, right? Because there may be a revelation that comes in here. Sometimes again, people surprise you, right? If you open up to somebody who doesn't, who you think that may not understand you, they may surprise you. Because you just never know, they might be on their own journey and they haven't felt like they're in a safe space to express themselves either. And there's like a solidarity that may come in there because of that. But the judgment card, truth, epiphanies, we see the light, we get that spiritual awakening, huge in a big way. We speak our truth and then we can either let things go or we can reconcile something, we can heal something. But this is where we find that forgiveness. This is where we do release anything that's been holding us back so that we can freely, truly, and clearly move forward. And what does that do? It brings us peace, inner peace, outer peace, the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is a card of healing, meditation, your connection with your higher self. But it's a very calm and very peaceful energy. So where we may have some challenges, some issues, some chaos, pr truth, peace shall prevail as you move forward. And it's beautiful, right? And don't forget, we have the Archangel of Healing at the bottom of the deck here for you, bringing that healing, bringing that spiritual guidance, bringing the truth even. But bringing the connection to your heart and your soul. And I do also feel here, because this is the King of Cups energy, I do also feel here, because the bottom of the deck can be some underlying energy, underlying influences. Um, it can be something that is kind of on the sidelines that we don't quite see. And the King of, uh, the King of Cups, the Archangel of Healing, can certainly represent a person. And sometimes the bottom of the deck brings about a little bit of a surprise. So again, there might be a person new or in your life already that just may surprise you a little bit we have your 11th house energy community 
transits, we've got climate, and we have the sun. Beautiful. Now, some of you may actually have some cancer energy somewhere in your chart uh, may prevail or there might be a person in your world that is a Cancerian. They also ended their reading with the sun. But we do have this 11th house energy that is around you, okay? And the 11th house has to do with your um, community, your environment, the village per se in which we live. And as we grow and evolve, sometimes our community, our soul tribe, our environment also changes or also needs to change. And we've already been talking about that, right, in your reading. So this could certainly be your time to branch out, to meet new people, to network, to find that safe space, that safe community where you can express yourself, your soul, your ideas, your beliefs, right? Your freedom, an, er an energy, a community where you won't be judged or vilified in some way. Now you may find this with the people that are already around you, but you may need to branch out. You might need to network a little bit, connect with the people that are around you. This is also Sometimes the challenge when we have the 11th house energy is breaking free from the herd. Breaking free from that collective energy. <clears throat> the collective belief systems. To be who you are and to be authentic and truthful to yourself, to your soul. And sometimes that's a challenge, right? Is breaking out of that group mindset. But I think here... You are embracing some change. You know that there's something shifting, something evolving in your world. You know that you are changing and that you are growing. The climate around you may be changing. You might be really connected with, or you are really connected with the energy, the universe that is flowing around you. Your vibe is changing. When we have the transits energy, this really does represent how things change, how things evolve, how things move in our cycle of life. It does represent those planetary transits, right? The planets are always um, in motion, right? We're always dealing with different aspects, different issues, different things that come up along the way. And sometimes those things that we come up with, those things that... Um, you know, present a challenge. Sometimes we need to focus and we need to, um, you know, overcome those things that are challenging, that are changing for us. And sometimes we have a lot of support as well, right? So we embrace the good and the bad, right? All of that energy. But I feel here that there is a massive, massive shift for you. Things are changing for you in a beautiful, wonderful way. Might feel a little bit chaotic sometimes, <clears throat> okay? Um, especially we have the five of wands there and the transits uh, card here with your climate with things changing is also card 55. Okay, so five, five, five. <laughs> okay, big change ahead for you internally and externally as well. And it's a great energy, also a little bit scary sometimes, right? Humans are creatures of habit. We don't like change. Change makes us uncomfortable and quite often does bring up fears and anxieties because we don't know how something is going to shift. Is something going to work, right? If we change what we do, let's say we change what we do for a living. Change jobs. It's like, okay, I know I'm ready for a change. I know that I need to do something different. I know I need to start something new. But there's still that underlying fear because what if I start this new path and what if it doesn't work out? We quite often do have that fear of failure, right? What if I do this and I fail? What if I try this and I fail? So again, that's something that we need to let go of, something that we need to move past. The judgment card here is helping you release those kind of belief systems, those kind of thoughts and to embrace the future. So I think things are shifting for you in a very positive way because, of course, we do finish out your reading with the sun. 
<clears throat> the sun in astrology is who you are, the face that you put on for the world, right? Your sun sign. Okay, you are Leo, you are loud and proud, you are strong. You have the ability to be kind and patient and compassionate, but you also have this fierce energy that resides within you. You're full of confidence, you're full of light, you're full of power, you're full of energy. And this is your time to shine. The sun brings about happiness and joy. It brings about that life force. Without the sun, nothing grows, right? We're in the darkness. Out of the darkness into the light is where you are headed, is where you are going. And it's a beautiful energy bringing you in so many beautiful vibes. I think you're really understanding who you are, who you're meant to be, and you're stepping into your personal power. And it's beautiful, it's wonderful, and it's exciting. So I'm going to leave you there on that high note of the sun. I hope there was something here in this reading that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.